Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Timberborn series. So uh, today's episode's focus is going to be something more interesting. We are going to construct a slightly different housing complex for our beavers. So the last episode that went out was, I think it was episode 12 and in some of the previous ones as well, I've uh, noticed a few requests that um, perhaps we should start building or make some more uh, bigger builds as well. So thanks a lot for suggesting that and we shall definitely do a few. One of the interesting ones that was actually mentioned in the comments was not about the housing but actually about this this tower of power that we have. And uh, Kui's had a great idea to turn this into hanging gardens. So I've put some thought into this as well. And I think in one of the upcoming episodes, we might give it a try. So definitely appreciate the idea and we'll try our best. But let's uh, shift the focus back into this episode. So housing, right? Before we get started with this section in here, what we do have to do, if I remember correctly, we were building this power wire right about there. And I am a pretty pretty impatient at times. I don't want to sit here doing them one by one. So, okay, maybe this will do and we should, I think they are going to have access. Okay, bear with me just for a second. All these links, uh, no, doesn't go in here. I'm just going to quickly pop them down as well. Yep, that one. And in here, don't think... No, we do have something below there. What about that section? Okay, yeah, nearly missed one. But now we're good. Alright, and these ones need to be connected. Oh, okay, we did miss one. Not to worry. We shall switch it, turn it, and off you go. Now, to connect this one up, pretty simple. Let's... Uh, Grab one of those. We shall bring it up a level. Turn it around. You're going to go out and a T connector just like so. And the rest of them are now done as well. Okay. So I think we should be able to leave the beavers complete this section here, right? I really hope so. All right, let's resume the time now as well. We are back live. I have paused everything in this section here. And I fear we might even have to actually demolish a couple of sections. Okay, are we ready to start putting down the blueprint? Actually, just before we get there, let's have a quick look. So this here is pretty good. Now they're just planting some trees. And let's have a look. Oh, you can actually go because our goal here was... All right, let's do this very quickly. Okay. That goes there. I don't think... No, let's not fix this up. There's a few things I do want to change around, but... With the rest... Uh, you guys are still finishing this one off. Okay, cool. And lovely indeed. Okay, right. So, let's jump back in here. The first thing we are going to have to do is clear up this base a little bit. Do we have any beavers running around in this area? Okay, so there are a couple... I really want to get rid of those trees because they are going to be in our way. All right, so here we go. Here's first one, second one, and maybe we get a third one as well. Right, so with the dirt piles as well, there's going to be quite a lot for them to carry back and forth. I am thinking, let's look at our reserves real quick. So tons of blanks, metal, uh, would love to have it a little bit higher, of course. But let's go to landscaping and we shall do another dirt pile just over here. Maybe we shall give you a slightly higher priority as well. Just to make sure it gets done quicker. Alright, so for the next part, I'm just going to put down the blueprint in here and we shall do a time lapse. Oh, it's been a while since we've done one of those, but uh, yeah, let's do it this way. So that way you can, uh, you can see how it gets planned and built as well. All right, here we go.
All right, so there we go. Here's the rough blueprint. I think that is pretty good, and we can uh, probably start unboxing sections of that as well. Um, before we do that, I know the drought is going to start in about 1.6 days. Let's just have a look that we have not caused an apocalypse in our colony. Okay, so the power should be going through, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. We're just not producing a ton of power just yet. We've got a few spare columns as well. I'm assuming, okay, three of them are there. And you guys are most likely just hanging out because we don't have a lot to do in here. A lot of water escapes that way, but this might be fine as long as water goes other ways as well. And it seems we've pretty much done in here so we are definitely going to hold a little bit more water here which is great you guys don't really have a lot to do right now understandable all right so let's take a take a look how shall we uh, tackle this one so we we are going to have to give them a bit of access that's for sure and i just want to make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be as well yep that looks Pretty good to me. Now, I'm not sure if we want to do another house on top of this one. Could perhaps do it this way. And if we grab one of those decoration or the roof bits as well. Yeah, that looks a little bit nicer. Nicer. But that does mean we are going to have to give them a little bit of extra access through here. Hold on. What are you guys? Okay. No, that this one should be paused. Oh, they are building some of those platforms but that might not be perhaps it's not necessarily a bad thing uh, it is very difficult to look around with all these paused signs I guess we could turn them off as well uh, but for now let's just delete this column in here okay so they can start constructing this side which is yeah that's not a bad thing uh, but okay, first things first, we shall connect you up the same way again. Yeah, so I had a, a few problems um, with these side platforms. You can't really build them in the middle. Okay, so it has to be at the top. Here, I guess it doesn't quite recognize where is the highest part because because they're not quite constructed yet of course so that's why it was um i had to demolish a few sections in here just to get a little bit closer are we able to give these sections a slightly high priority i think we can okay it won't be lovely if you complete them first i suppose now you should have access to go all the way there and I must try and get like a little funky axis here as well if we could place the staircase going down. But then I started thinking, well, if... Oh, hold on a second. If this is supposed to be the main entrance, like a little secret, tiny little pyramid here on the, on the cliffs. And um, yeah, we have this little drop down ladder here. Then I don't want to give it a alternative route. So yeah, let them go through this one here. One thing I know what's going to be a problem is the axis, 100%. So if we look right now, this is already pretty dark red in here. So I have a pretty strong feeling that we are not going to be able to reach all of the levels. Okay, you are not able to reach, but that's fine. And right now we are constructing these sections a lot faster as well. And that's thanks to having this dirt pile that is very close to us okay so when it comes to access in here i guess we can oh okay let's see uh the lower ones you don't really have to access anywhere so we can unpause you first then with these sections yep i think you can go as well all right there we go and same i don't think they have to really walk through here but then at the same time, we might be able to construct a few of the things from the floor. 
Right, so the key thing is really unpausing these two first. And I don't think we want to go... Oh, actually, we can leave this the way it is. All right, there we go. So carry on. Once we get this pillar in as well, things should start move a little bit quicker. With um, these terrain blocks that are hiding just behind here. All right, let's give you a slightly higher priority as well. There we go. Okay, we got one of those platforms already. I do believe if we could only grab... Okay, you can now be unpaused, I believe. Because they can access through here. Maybe we give you a slightly more direct route as well. Okay, so if we do check the access, let's have a look. Oh, right, yeah. That's pretty much done. Um, <laughs> we are going to have to re relocate you a little bit closer. So whilst they are constructing, let's take a look. Okay, so this zone was going to be for forestry only. Right, so this means I want to get rid of you. And I'm thinking we shall... Oh, that was the wrong one. Okay, that was actually fine. So let's place you, I guess, back over here for the for the time being. Okay, we're going to rip those trees out. Alright, give you slightly a high priority as well. I think we can also do a few more maples in here. That probably wouldn't hurt, and same on that side. So this can now all be maples, and I don't think we need these roads anymore. Uh, let's take a look. So you can access through here. Well, that's all going to change as well. Yep, yeah, let's uh, leave you guys to it. And uh, we shall be back in the morning. Alright, there we go. It appears that our uh, water stations or the barrels. I always forget, forget the name. Large water tank. There we go. They were actually flooded. They were submerged and it's a bit of, a, bit of an oversight on my behalf. Now the drought has started 23 days. Okay, that's not too bad. Right. So let's rebuild you. And off you go. We should have hopefully a bit more water in here. Yep, it looks a bit scary, but that's because three of three of our tanks were not very usable. Alright, let's uh, fix this section up real quick as well. This one can go and there we go all right back to the houses how far are you guys now all right so you've done that section there we should probably oh dear what's paused oh that's the one behind so that's fine you can now do all of them okay i think we have something else paused in here on pause and Okay, there we go. At the top here, I think they can also start constructing these side platforms. All right, there we go. That's probably going to take some time. I think what I'm most worried about... Well, access is number one. Resource-wise, metal most likely is a number two. Yeah, we've got tons of gears, and I don't think we were using any gears there. Blanks is not a problem. Uh, so if that's starting to potentially become a problem, the metal, I mean. If you look at the batteries, they are pretty much full. All these... What's paused over here? Oh, just a platform, it seems, so that's fine. Yeah, so the windmills fill up the batteries pretty quickly. So that's lovely. Uh, smelter, let us do a another one. Now uh, we still have a few columns that are available to us four of you okay let's uh let's see district one forestry one two three let's uh set it to 40 actually two of them are jobless here all right scrap metal is starting to look maybe a little low well that's fine you don't have anyone in here i guess we could put the barrel bots in that building but um, we also have seven spare beavers. Let me guess. It's District 1 again. All right. Off you go. I think 
five should be fine to send over so let's reduce you just uh just a little bit all right have you filled up uh no we have not it, it appears we had tons of other places where they can be working at okay what about now there we go i guess we had a different oh they just moved over from this build it <laughs> build this hut uh right fine whatever Let's have a look. How are you guys doing? What are you waiting for? Behind. Oh, oh dear. Okay. No good. My bad. Let's uh, remove this section. And I should have probably faced them the other way. Yep. Totally forgot. Bit of an oversight. That's fine. We can still carry on with construction. Have you guys done anything in here? No, these are all turned off. And the one behind needs to be finished again. Ah, oh, well, that's uh, that's a little bit annoying. Yeah, so let's uh, change this up real quick. Let's make it so they become... Yep. Nope, not this one. And we don't want to build you first. So let's pause these ones, do we? Oh yeah, these are now a little stuck in here as well. Uh, right, so for now, we have a ton... Hmm. Okay, there's two platforms then. Uh, when it comes to access as well, might be easier if we just carry through here, isn't it? Yep, that's going to be... Be a little bit more direct for them. Uh, you are turned off. Why? This should be the first one we build along with these ones. Alright, so you cannot be paused because all of the other ones need to be constructed and I can't quite delete you because you have buildings attached to you. Attached to them. Alright, so that's quite a quite a rave over here. There we go. What are you guys constructing? I think it would be lovely if we got this section done first. Alright, we've got some dirt piles coming in now. Yep, I think the priorities are right. So let's take a look. It would be great if you finish off all of this here as well. Yep, that would not be a bad idea. And probably the same with this link in here. And let's give you couple of platforms as well I mean I guess maybe we don't need it so badly it could go this way hmm oh well actually these ones should be uh, secondary yeah we want these ones to be done first so we can move over to this section here I think they have already built one of those houses okay there we go right so let's go through this as well on the bottom level i have put those mini lodges so the reason for that really is i don't want a lot of beavers to live here but i want this area to be full so only one beaver can live in this house and they're not gonna you know start making little beaver babies straight away so these are brilliant the reason why i put the the lodges on top of them is because if you look at this here i don't know from the distance perhaps it kind of looks like cat size yep maybe it's just me but i thought it would look a lot nicer uh changes up the style a little bit as well with the windows and the middle bit kind of like a bit of a tower i guess makes it look like a perhaps it's a central staircase or something i don't know at least it looks a little bit different so that's that's good all right, have we done this link now? Yes, so, all right, so the dirt is in. Why are... Okay, you guys are constructing. Fine, maybe it's time to do some priorities. A little bit higher for you. And I would like them ones to be next as well. Okay, actually, I should have given you even higher priority. Let's have a look. We had a few... Oh, not this one. 
All right, let's give you a slightly higher priority. Same with you. And I really want those side platforms to be done. Uh, let's take a look. We've got four spare columns somewhere. Two in here. Okay, so maybe you're not full. Let's uh, stick these columns in here. And we shall also call in a couple more from District 1. So let's send two over. Right there we go. Actually, we do also have a spare one, don't we? Let's do one more. You're not going to need them all. And if we look over here, spare beaver. I guess we could also... Oh, these are beavers only. Alright, so that is fine. How are you doing? Lots of maple syrups should be coming in now. Or maybe we haven't... Oh yeah, they're still developing. Okay. Fair enough. I am thinking perhaps half of this side as well. But once they fill the log piles, we shall be and will be able to collect even more maple syrup from the top there. Uh, the rest of it is fine. I think we'll leave this section for another day. And the rest of it... Yeah, there's a few trees growing here, but it's not looking so great. Alright, so a slightly more direct route. It should have extended our reach a little bit. Oh yeah, it's almost up to the stairs now, so that's good. Can also expand the maples right about there as well. And if we look at the reach once again... So, I don't really need to access this area anymore, and these flags can be pushed back a little bit further. If we brought... I guess you... Let's have a look. You run up and up until there. So if we do the forester along this strip over here somewhere, then that would cover most of this area. Okay, do you know what? Since we don't really know where exactly we want to place you, we are going to unmark all of those trees. Um, now, where shall we relocate the district center? If you're here right now, I mean, the range is pretty good even to that side. So if we could slowly start bringing you up. Alright, actually, we got spare beavers and you guys are not doing anything here. Let's uh, send you out. All of you, be gone. Alright, did they move over? One is still here. Oh, I think I know what we have. District... 14. Let's take a look. Ah, minimum 2. There we go. Thought I was go going crazy almost. Alright. Off you go. And... What's happening over here? Okay. Couple of those side platforms are finally ready. We could really use... Uh, that's a platform. I think we had... Another one here. But it seems I'm... Unable to select it. Right, right, right. Okay, that's another platform. Not really constructing this one just yet. It's, ah, there we go. The arch. Alright. Give you a slightly higher priority as well. I think it's pretty safe to speed up the time. Uh, we got plenty of days until the rainy season arrives again. Okay, so that section is now complete as well. They don't seem to be complaining about the range or distance just yet, so... Yeah, that's good. And what is also very lovely is that they are able to access both from below and above. Okay, I see. There's another problem here. I should have probably removed these sections a little bit earlier as well. Okay, here we go. Let's place you this way. Okay, let's see how it goes. He might start complaining once again. Actually, pause you and get this one done first. Alright. What are you guys constructing? I hope it's one of those archers. Okay, yes, you are... Oh. Resources. Metal. Yep. It seems we have run a little low on metal. But that shouldn't be a problem because we do have another station that's ready and actually the fourth one as well. 
what we might run out of is scrap metal. So we could probably do... Let's put all the pots in that one. All right, this one here as well. District 13. Seems we have set up a minimum amount here too. So let's remove you and send you over. We do need a few extra hands for our... I guess it's kind of launches construction or single construction project in this series at least. Okay, we still have one vacancy. So I think we we know where it is. District 1, send you over. Off you go. All right, everything is looking lovely now. So this might take a little longer now actually. If each of those platforms needs about 40. Hmm. What's our stockpiles like in the other district? Uh, that's down as well. So the column production is going to take a bit of a hit, it seems. Uh, Power-wise, is the wind off? Uh, yes, it is. You haven't really dropped a lot, so... Sure. Do we have enough scrap metal, though? 48. Okay, they produce about 2 every 1.8 hours. You consume 2 every 4 hours. Okay, I think I've got this now. So, let's say roughly 1 per hour is produced. Every hour you are taking about 0 0.5. So, with 4 of them running, every hour we are needing 2 scrap metal. Okay, yeah. So, I don't think we're doing that good when it comes to production here. I mean, there could be some delays as well, especially when they're running around. But for now, let's leave, leave four of them running. If they start complaining, we shall figure something out. Okay. Aren't... Okay, you only take six actually, so that's good. I mean, we're not using too many of them anyways. They can still construct quite a few things in here. Give you guys... Let's get this section done first. I think it should be a little bit quicker, isn't it? Yeah, we're just waiting for a few metal blocks. If only we had a bit more metal in this storage. That would have been great. And there's no point unpausing all that. Because we don't have the metal. Okay, since they have already constructed a few things in here, I guess we could... Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. Do you know what? Something we can do is probably carry on with all the dirt piles. Did we do another one as well? Yes, we did. Okay. Nope. This one. Um, I don't think we need all of them to be done so it's not like we need to desperately save the dirt but as long as we can pull those roads through here to give them a bit more access i'm happy and then in the future with this uh, region here as well yeah we can connect you up through here for sure i'm not entirely sure if we are going to dig this deeper or fill it up I, I do know that somewhere in the middle, I would like to put some more storages here for food, so it's closer to the housing units. We also do want to have a bit of a, I don't know if it's going to be a skyscraper or some kind of a, a extension of maybe entertainment. If the houses are on the cliff here, maybe in, perhaps entertainment could be in the middle. Yeah, possibility. I don't want to fill it up with water. I've changed my mind a little bit. I mean, I guess we could do like a canal that runs along the edge of the mountain just to keep it all nice and green and maybe this section could be filled up perhaps. We definitely have options, which is good. Sometimes. Sometimes it also means that decisions will not be made very quickly. The less of the options, the quicker things get done. Um, right, okay, so yeah, quite a few options here. Now, 
what I personally like about this area is uh, if you've been here with us since season one of the Timberborn series when we started playing with folktales, I was pretty proud of myself of having the beavers live on the cliffside. So this one here with some mods seems like the upgraded level up version of that in some ways. A little bit. I mean, this axis over here, that should be pretty cool. Alright, they've managed to construct something. Right, let's take a look. Okay, see these are 20. Yep, that's a pretty pricey build that we are doing. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, not too bad just yet. Oh, I know why. Actually, it might be fine if we leave a beaver here. The other three should be run by a column. Yep. That speeds it up a little bit. Got science points as well. But I don't think we need the planks. Yeah. The treated planks. We got plenty in the stockpiles right now. I do want to have a column in here though. I've changed my mind. Yep. This is something we need to... Um, <laughs> produce a little quicker. Right. What else can we do? Do have a couple of... Oh no we don't. We just have four spare columns there. Uh, I'm not sure if we should stop it or not. Hmm. Maybe something we can check, however, is... How much scrap are we sending here? Scrap metal, 25. Okay, that's fine. I guess. Right, there we go. So the middle section is coming along pretty nicely. They've finished the arches already. There is just one left. It's two metal, so it's done. The rest of it is really just wood and planks. So that should go pretty quickly as well. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six platforms still to be constructed. Well, you are already full. So someone just needs to hop over and finish constructing that one, which is great. Now over here, I think we have four and five. So that one's pretty costly as well. At least all the other resources are already in. Yes, they are paused. Oh, okay. So this one is unpaused. Right. Perhaps I should have checked this as well. Side platform with... Uh, that's too wide. Doesn't take any metal. You take 20 and then it doubles to 40. Okay. Unfortunately though... There's no way I could have done this build with the shorter ones. I do want them sort of free free hanging there. Yeah, I don't really want to have anything from the ground holding them up. And I guess in the future as well, if it doesn't feel high enough, we could always go around and use a bit of dynamite, right? Or maybe we cannot. Oh, this one's too close. But with the rest, can we? Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Well, that's a future problem, I suppose, if we really had to lower it a little bit. Okay, central section seems to be nearly complete. Are you having complaints about the access level as well? I suppose they will very soon. They can still climb up here, which is great. And do you have access to construct these sections? I hope you do. Okay. So what we might do is... Maybe we just speed it up a little bit. Uh, why are you guys paused? Okay. This is going to be tricky. I have to zoom in all the way to try and get the right things. Oh, I think we did manage to grab one and two. Are you saying I've paused them on a different level again? Okay, we got another one and the last one as well. Beautiful. So get to building. Would be great if you can finish this one as well. It is almost done. We just need someone to run over and finish the construction. Alright, there we go. 
This one is not paused. I think it's the platform. Yeah, that's going to take quite a bit of time. So why don't we skip this a little bit and then we'll jump back when something happens. And here we go. So the construction is finally complete and there's a couple of things I have to mention very quickly. So first of all, I was fully planning to turn this into a time lapse. I was, I promise. Now, what happened was I accidentally deleted a few of those platforms. Well, it wasn't technically an accident. What I thought was, once I figured out that the bigger platforms take a bit of metal as well, I realized, okay, well, what if we swap a few of these uh, cliffside, what was it, platforms around? So I changed the fours to the threes and it, it would have worked out. So I went ahead, deleted them, and then uh, what I realized was once I started placing them, I realized very quickly, let me show you as well. So I grabbed those th three long ones and I realized, uh-oh, we can't place them anymore because the hillside or the cliff is already complete, it's constructed. So what I thought was, okay, not a problem. Let's uh, re-roll one of the previous uh, autosaves. So I did that. And then what happened was the bridge over here. And I think we had a few platforms here somewhere as well. And the ladder shaft here was all gone. So I took a minute and then I realized, okay, I was trying to be a little bit smart by, you know, just that. Uh, scheduling or planning in those terrain blocks but what seems to happen is once they are built the game is saved you exit the game you reload it everything that doesn't make sense for the game gets deleted so yeah lost it all uh, because it thought okay well there is a cliff over here therefore you shouldn't have one of those platforms attached to the cliff so so yeah that happened and um took some time put the blueprint back in place so everything is as it was before i believe at least mostly i think yeah and then uh, obviously metal was the problem i did have to cut down i think there was a ruin ruins uh, somewhere right over there and also uh, i think we're still harvesting this one here as well uh, there, there was one in the water too Okay, so that's that. We got the metal very slow, painful, and uh, what I forgot to mention here is we had to do a little workaround. So we had to extend a little bit with the uh, terrain blocks so that we could place the, the platforms again. And same on this side as well. If we go up a little bit, actually underneath there's terrain blocks. Ah, uh, wait, I can prove it okay there we go yep these are the ring blocks that are holding up our platforms i mean we did win a little bit on this side because now the platforms are a little bit shorter so they were four long before which is 40 metal blocks now there are three which is 20 so yeah definitely 60 over here and i think another how long is this one if it's three no it's a four so okay about 60 metal blocks is what we you know gained but you know this bridge was completely gone and then some i think something in here as well a couple of them so overall maybe we didn't lose too much but at the same time it was probably a couple of hours that it took to get it together and it was it was all very messy so yeah sadly no time lapse but let me just speed up so it's light again but i think overall and let's let me zoom out as well there we go overall this is looking pretty cool that's definitely a massive upgrade from season one the cliffside folktail beavers to this futuristic very developed i want to say cliffside houses compared to what it used to be of course four seasons ago so yeah that's uh that's pretty cool pretty happy with the how it's um come out i mean in the future i could Probably, I thought a few ways how we could hide or cover up the front as well, but do you know what? It's uh, it's a little funky. I don't mind it too much, and same over here as well, so yeah, 
overall pretty cool i mean in the future if we do want to we can definitely expand this around the parameter as well um yeah i guess it makes more sense it, it's gonna look way cooler if we do a few more cliffside houses maybe perhaps over here and maybe elsewhere as well if we raise the terrain definitely learned a few things as well whilst we were constructing this but what i really like is how the ladder drops from the middle from this tiny little pyramid that we have and then we can cross over either side okay yeah so housing can go you know kind of around this area if we want to make uh, stretch the sort of the height as well and really bring it out then uh, we can use a few more dynamites to lower the hill at least underneath the housing and we'll try and make it as realistic as possible in a way and then yeah what we said before i think the entertainment should most likely go in the middle here yep we'll progress into this as well and um since in the previous episodes i think it was episode 12 there was a few comments about doing some more bigger projects so there we go here's one over here and i do have a couple more plans as well especially with some of the mods that bring us some more interesting blocks so we'll do some yeah some bigger monuments we've got plenty of space i think uh main thing that i've learned from or rem reminded myself and whilst i was constructing this is let's try and make sure in the future that we got plenty of resources in the stock so if i bring this up real quick metal yeah that's gonna be a slow build up so perhaps it will be a little bit smarter to try and reach this metal deposit right over there okay it is gonna be quite far away but if we set up one of those satellite districts with some columns working 24 7 we should be able to export them back in here and the idea that Kuist has as well had as well uh, I'm pretty keen to try and make oh, pr pretty this up es essentially decorate it so it's not so bare and uh, awkward looking so perhaps one of the upcoming episodes will uh, give it a try as well and see how it goes not going to use any metal hopefully but who knows maybe we have to and then uh, yeah i do want to ramp up the production but until we get more metal or sorry the scrap metal we cannot really there's no point placing more smelters if we don't have enough scrap metal it's already yeah down to five so i think it's time to um, pause a couple of them so now it should be fine okay and whilst we were constructing this housing here there was a little couple of little fixes around the colony as well we got quite a few uh, extra columns so i have paused one of the assemblers for the time being because we don't really have a need for a oh for a need for a slightly larger column population so what we can do now I think in the next episode we shall uh, start cutting down all of those trees here yeah so we can definitely complete get the lumberjacks out from here from district one and relocate them over but okay so uh, let's have a final look at the look at the housing over here there it is pretty beautiful i think we can yeah be pretty proud of this uh and with that being said let's cut the episode uh, hopefully it's not going to be too long again so yeah, thank you so much for watching and also for the lovely comments and the likes that you leave on the videos as well. I really do appreciate it and uh, we'll see you in the next episode.